besides being two famous fighters who will face each other in 2024. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson are two powerful men who have amassed huge fortunes. But have you ever wondered which of them has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a fierce battle between Jake Paul and Mike Tyson. So, let's fight! Vehicles Both celebrities love to enjoy beautiful vehicles, but which of them has the most expensive cars in the garage? Mike Tyson, for example, has been spotted with several vehicles, such as a $40,000 Mercedes-Benz 380SL, a $60,000 Mercedes-Benz 560SL, a $75,000 Rolls-Royce Spur, a $95,000 Cadillac Scarlet, a $120,000 Bentley Continental T, a $130,000 Rolls-Royce Corniche, a $300,000 Bentley Continental SC, a $340,000 Rolls-Royce Ghost, a $350,000 Rolls-Royce Cullinan, a $450,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom, a $500,000 Lamborghini Super Diablo Twin Turbo, a $600,000 Jaguar XJ220, and several sources speculate that one of the most expensive cars he has ever owned was a Ferrari F50, one of the most sought-after Ferraris in the world. This supercar is powered by a V12 engine, capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.7 seconds, managing to reach a top speed of 202 miles per hour. And to give you an idea of price, depending on its state of preservation, you can find this legendary Ferrari easily going for over $1 million. Jake Paul, on the other hand, has a collection of motorcycles, including Suzuki AE50 for $1,500, Honda CRF for $7,500, Yamaha YZ250F for $8,500, Moto Guzzi V72 for $9,500, Honda CBR1000RR for $16,500, and a Harley Davidson CVO Limited for $29,000. As for cars, Jake Paul has been spotted with many vehicles over the years, such as Gem E4 for $17,400, Chevrolet Camaro for $30,000, Ford Thunderbird second generation for $35,000, Pontiac Catalina 2 plus 2 for $36,000. Toyota Tacoma for $45,000, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter for $48,000, Toyota Tacoma TRD for $49,000, Ford Focus RS for $50,000, BMW M2 for $64,000, Ford Fairlane 500 Skyliner for $66,000, Chevrolet Corvette C7 for $79,000, BMW M4 for $82,000, Dodge Ram 1500 TRX for $85,000, Jeep Willys for $100,000, Tesla Model X for $130,000, Ferrari Testarossa for $180,000, Mercedes-Benz Maybach S580 for $200,000, Porsche 911 GT3 RS for $223,000, Lamborghini Urus for $230,000, Ferrari 458 Italia for $245,000 Ferrari 488 Spider for $291,000 Lamborghini Huracan for $300,000 Rolls-Royce Wraith for $329,000 Rolls-Royce Cullinan for $335,000 Lamborghini Huracan Performante for $349,000 Rolls-Royce Ghost for $350,000 Lamborghini Aventador for $400,000, Ferrari 296 GTB for $421,000, and a Rolls-Royce Phantom, an extremely elegant large sedan from the famous luxury car brand Rolls-Royce. The interior of the vehicle has impeccable finishing, with top-notch materials that bring a lot of sophistication to the environment. To have such a car, it may be necessary to spend over $450,000. Paul also owns a customized Ferrari SF90 Spider, one of the fastest cars manufactured by the company. The vehicle is equipped with a Super V8 engine, capable of accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.5 seconds, reaching an unbelievable top speed of 211 miles per hour. And perhaps that's why a new one can surpass the $600,000 mark. 
One of the most expensive vehicles he was spotted driving is a Ferrari LaFerrari, a stunning vehicle with a modern and futuristic design, capable of enchanting anyone who likes sports cars. And it's not surprising that to have this incredible vehicle in the garage, it may be necessary to spend a small fortune, as Jake's car cost about $1.5 million. In addition to all these vehicles, he also acquired a giant military truck that was completely customized to suit his tastes. And according to some sources, Jake Paul's entire car fleet is valued at around $10 million. And for having more luxurious cars, Jake Paul wins this round. Point for him! Exaggerated Luxuries Both fighters have plenty of money to buy whatever they want, but which one has the most extravagant spending? Mike Tyson, for example, owned three pet tigers, paying around $70,000 on each one. And just to keep these feline animals, he spent around $125,000 a year. When it came to styling his look, Tyson didn't like to skimp either, having been spotted sporting accessories like a $5,000 Rolex Oyster Perpetual, a $12,000 Cartier Pasha, a $18,000 Rolex Daydate, a $33,000 Hublet Big Bang Unico WBC, a $40,000 Rolex Daytona White Gold. But the fighter's most expensive jewelry was a bracelet and watch made entirely with diamonds, whose price was estimated at around $630,000. At the height of his success, the fighter also enjoyed throwing lavish parties, such as his 30th birthday, which was attended by a guest list of 700 with many stars, an event that cost him around $400,000. Some sources also say that Mike Tyson was very generous to the people he cared about, having even given several luxury cars as gifts to his friends. When it comes to dressing well, Jake Paul usually combines his outfits with sophisticated watches, such as Casio G-Shop Baby G Pokemon Edition for $150, Gucci Grip Mickey Mouse for $2,000, Rolex Oyster Perpetual Tiffany Blue Dial for $28,000, Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak Vampire for $41,000 Santos de Cartier Skeleton Studded for $45,000 Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak in Stainless Steel for $50,000 Audemars Pichuet Plus Rolex Date Just Together Worth $88,000 Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak 18K Rose Gold for $90,000 Rolex Rainbow Daytona Eve Rose Gold for $92,000 Audemars Pichuet Chandelier for $135,000 Richard Mill RM011 Automatic for $175,000 Richard Mill RM72-01 Lifestyle Flyback for $300,000 Jacob & Company Bugatti Chiron Turbillion for $380,000 Richard Mill RM011 Abu Dhabi Edition for $500,000 and even a rare Richard Mill RM11-03 Ivory valued at an incredible $856,000. In addition to his collection, Jake Paul has also gifted his barber with an $11,000 Rolex Oyster Perpetual and gave Tyron Woodley and his team a Rolex Oyster date just 41. To enjoy and relax on the high seas, the influencer usually takes advantage of large vessels. Jake Paul has been aboard, for example, the Off the Grid, a luxurious yacht of the Pershing 88 model, capable of cruising at a maximum speed of 40 knots. Renovated in 2008, the 88-foot yacht offers many amenities, with a focus on refined woodwork that makes the place even more comfortable. The vessel can accommodate up to eight overnight passengers, who can distribute themselves in four cabins configured as suites, each with a modern private bathroom. The Off the Grid is not currently available on the market, and if Jake Paul bought it, he must have spent around $1.75 million. However, if he chose to rent it at the time, the influencer likely spent between $30,000 and $35,000 per week. At a higher price point, another vessel where Jake and his brother Logan were spotted having fun was the Flying Fox, ranking among the 15 largest yachts in the world. The mega yacht is 446 feet long, featuring a high-end curvilinear exterior design with many pleasant seating areas to enjoy the scenery at any time. Internally, the yacht follows the same sophistication as the external space, with a large lobby, a room with computers, a cozy cinema space, 11 cabins accommodating 25 people, and a two-story spa area, including a massage room and other amenities. 
In addition to all this, the Mega Yacht has a 39-foot pool on the main deck and its own Airbus H-155 helicopter to transport passengers. To enjoy a few days on the Flying Fox, the Paul brothers must have spent a considerable amount of money, as the estimated weekly charter price exceeds $3 million. As both fighters spend real fortune splurging on their lifestyles, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both! Most Expensive Mansion when it comes to investing in a good place to live, both celebrities spare no expense. But who has the most luxurious property? Mike Tyson, for example. During the period when Mike Tyson was married to his ex-wife, Monica Turner, they lived in a beautiful mansion in a gated community in Bethesda, Maryland. Situated on a 2.5-acre lot, the 19,000-square-foot residence is able to offer every comfort imaginable. Going into its interior, we can see that the decor is very clean, having a color palette in light tones. One point that stands out in this property is that all rooms have large window openings, which bring excellent natural lighting. The interior of the mansion has several rooms which only exist in homes of this magnitude, such as a beautiful piano room in order to play his favorite songs, a fireplace in the living rooms to warm up on the colder days, a sophisticated dining room decorated with a luxurious chandelier, a rustic, wood-paneled office, a TV room equipped with a large projector, a weight training gym with views to the nature, a game rooms with a pool table, beside many other things. Going up to the house's second floor is where the master suite is located, which features a gigantic walk-in closet and a luxurious bathroom with a spectacular hot tub in the center. The external area of the property is not overshadowed by its interior, being equipped with excellent structures such as a beautiful pool and even a basketball court. In addition, it was in this gigantic space that Mike Tyson was once spotted taking a walk with one of his famous tigers. And according to some sources, this incredible property was ceded to his ex-wife after they divorced in 2003. And as reported in the media, in 2021 the property that once belonged to Tyson was sold for the small sum of almost $4,600,000. Jake Paul, for his part, decided to invest in a contemporary mansion in Dorado Beach, in the territory of Puerto Rico. At the property's entrance, you can notice sophistication in the space steps above a lake, leading to the mansion with over 12,000 square feet of interior space, completed in 2021. It features a custom structure with artisanal and architectural finishes. The property has living rooms with glass walls that provide plenty of natural light to the interior, while the kitchen has a chef's island and seating for casual meals. Among other amenities of the property are a dining room with doors leading to a side-sitting area, great for relaxing with more privacy, as well as a garage for six cars that Jake Paul intends to renovate. There's also a room with computers, a residential office with a private balcony, eight spacious bedrooms, some with closets, and 12 luxuriously appointed bathrooms. Moving to the master suite, there's a private reading area, and the space has doors that open to the garden, integrating a bathroom with a bathtub, giant mirrors, and an outdoor shower. There's also a closet with glass doors where Jake can store his collection of shoes and clothes. The property also has a guest house, where you'll find a modern and cozy cinema room with a 120-inch TV, a bar with a counter, and shelves for drinks. The place also has a basement that serves as a game room, with old arcade machines, a pool table, and a baseball court next to it, which also doubles as a space for other sports. But the luxuries don't end there, as there's a complete studio for Jake to produce his music without leaving home, with large windows offering beautiful views. Going to the outside, the mansion is situated on a landscape 1.1-acre plot, filled with charming spaces to relax and have fun. There's a patio with a large pool at the center of the recreation area, not forgetting the hot tub and a dining table near a barbecue. To acquire his current mansion, Jake Paul had to invest a lot of money. According to the media, the property belonged to Catriadier Molina, who built it from scratch before deciding to sell it to Jake for approximately $16 million. In other words, Jake Paul easily wins this round. Business As well as being great fighters, they also have other sources of income. But who stands out the most in business? Tyson has become a successful businessman, investing in projects that seem to be giving him a lot of return. He owns, for example, Tyson 2.0, a company that sells products made from cannabis. The business seems to be so successful that the company's official Instagram alone has almost 150,000 followers. 
Social media is also another of the fighter's sources of income. He has, for example, a YouTube channel that has 2 million subscribers, with videos that have reached tens of millions of views. On Instagram, he has over 20 million followers and is where he takes the opportunity to promote his company's products. That's all not to mention his VIP presence at events, his famous appearances in Hollywood movies, and even exhibition fights he's been doing after retiring, which also continue to earn him a lot of money. Jake Paul, for his part, co-founded it. Anti-Fund, a capital company to raise money using platforms. Most Valuable Promotions, a company that promotes other fighters. And Becker, a media and sports betting company. When he steps into the ring to fight, Jake also boosts his earnings based on pay-per-view numbers and sponsorships. In the entertainment industry, Jake Paul invested in an acting career, participating in series like Disney Channel's Bizarre Vark. In the music industry, he has released several singles, with the first one being It's Everyday Bro in collaboration with Team 10, which went viral in 2017 and reached position 91 on the Billboard Hot 100. Another major source of income for Jake Paul is undoubtedly his Instagram. For example, he is followed by more than 25 million users. Such popularity allows him to secure advertising deals with many brands, such as Rush Royale, among many others. And because it's difficult to determine the profit from each business, points for both of them. Net Worth Everyone knows that both fighters have made a lot of money during their careers, but which one has the biggest accumulated net worth? Mike Tyson, for example, was once considered one of the highest paid athletes in the world. Most of his income came through his fights that were very successful and were broadcast worldwide, which also earned him a lot of money with pay-per-view. He even had millionaire contracts with television stations like HBO and Showtime. And of course, the amount of money he received for each fight grew as he beat his opponents and his name became more and more known in the world. To get an idea, it is estimated that adding up the bonuses, he received about a $1,500,000 against Trevor Burbick, a $2,000,000 against James Smith, a $2,500,000 against Pink Lon Thomas, a $5,000,000 against Larry Holmes, a $10,000,000 against Tony Tubbs, a $20 million against Michael Spinks, a $25 million against Peter McNeely, a $30 million against Bruce Selden, and even unbelievable $103 million against Lennox Lewis in 2002, a figure that, adjusted for inflation, is worth over $150 million today. Adding up all his earnings, Mike Tyson earned at least $430 million, which is equivalent to over $700 million. And despite making so much money, in 2003 he surprised everyone when he declared bankruptcy, reporting being $23 million in debt. It is speculated that his financial problems were due to the fact that he lived an extremely luxurious life and did not know how to manage his expenses, added to the fact that his manager Don King kept a large percentage of all his earnings. Currently, he seems to have turned the tables and gotten financially back on his feet again. And while no one knows for sure what his current net worth is, we can estimate that he has at least $20 million, a figure that could be much higher if he had invested and managed his wealth better. Jake Paul, for one, although the exact amount he makes from his social media videos in general is not known, it is well known that he receives substantial sums. Since he began dedicating himself to boxing, the influencer has raked in true fortunes from the sport. Among the amounts he pocketed per fight are $1.2 million against Nate Robinson, $1.5 million against Anderson Silva, $2 million against Tyron Woodley, and $3 million against Tommy Fury, plus 65% of the pay-per-view earnings. In recent years, considering boxing, sponsorships, and social media, his earnings continue to increase. In 2018, Jake Paul earned $21.5 million, while in 2021, his income rose to an impressive $45 million. It's no wonder that in these two years, the athlete was considered by Forbes as the second highest paid YouTuber. Between September 2022 and September 2023, it is speculated that he received, without considering deductions, over $34 million. Although no one knows for sure what Jake Paul's current total fortune is, some sources estimate that he has a net worth of approximately $80 million. And because he has a bigger fortune, Jake Paul wins this last round. Point for him.
At the end of this fight, we had 2 points for Mike Tyson against 5 points for Jake Paul, making him the winner of this battle. But if you think there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.